In this pre-calculus algebra video, we'll look at the equation for a circle. Now, if you've missed the video on the distance and midpoint formulas, I'd encourage you to watch the previous video. But in this one, we'll just look at this example, write the equation of the circle in standard form. To write this in standard form, we've got to complete the square. It's not a really hard process, but it is a little bit challenging to keep straight everything you're doing here. So I'm going to try and do this really carefully and explain each step as we go. To start with, I'm going to write the X's and Y's grouped together, and I'm going to write them in color. You know, there's a lot of benefit to using some different colors here. And then that minus 8 I'm going to move to the other side of the equal sign. So do you follow what I did here? I took the two x's and I uh, put them together, the x squared and the y, the x squared and the 8x, and the two y terms, the y squared minus 2y, and put them together. So I've grouped the like, val the like variables together. Now I'm going to look for the way to make a perfect square using x squared plus 8x. To make a perfect square, what I'm going to do is look at this 8, and I'm going to cut the 8 in half and square it. You take this 8, cut it in half to get four, and then square it to get 16. So I've added 16 to the left side of the equation. So I'll add 16 to the right of the equation to keep it balanced. <coughs> so again, what I've done here is the eight cut in half and squared. 4 squared 16. And then let's do the same thing for the y's. The negative 2 cut in half and then squared. Negative 2 cut in half. 1 half of negative 2 is negative 1 and negative 1 squared is 1. So I'm going to add a 1 to the y squared minus 2y. And since I added 1 on the left, I'll add 1 to the right. So let's look back at what's been done so far. We took the x squared and the 8x, grouped them together. Took the blue y squared minus 2y, grouped them together. Took this negative 8, moved it to the other side of the equation. So in other words, I added 8 to both sides. So it canceled out the minus 8, and then it added an 8 to the right. And then for the x squared plus 8x, I took that 8, the coefficient of x, divided it in half, or in other words, found half of 8. That was a 4, squared it to get 16. I took the negative 2, cut it in half to get negative 1, and squared it to get 1. And then I added 1 to both sides. Now that I've done that, I'm ready to, to factor <coughs> each of the two pieces. So I can factor x squared plus 8x plus 16 as x plus 4. Remember when we took that 8 and cut it in half, we got a 4. There's that 4 again. So we have x plus 4 quantity squared plus, I'm going to take the y. Remember when we took that negative 2 and cut it in half, and we had a negative 1. So y minus 1 squared, and that's going to equal 8 plus 16 plus 7, so 25, which is 5 squared. I can see that the center of the circle, hk, is not positive 4. When I see this plus 4, remember that the formula shows a sub the minus an h, so subtract h. So if it's a positive 4 that we see, we want the opposite, negative 4. And then 1. So the center is at negative 4, 1. 
and the radius is the square root of 25 or 5. We've written the uh, equation in standard form. Now we could graph it. So I'm going to go to negative 4, 1. There's the center. And using the radius of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can get these four points. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's the five points of the circle. I'm sorry, four points on the circle. And then I can draw the circle that goes through those points. And that's the graph of the circle. I hope that you found this example helpful. If you need further assistance with this, I want to encourage you to practice. But then feel free to contact me uh, either in the office or through email if you need to see some further examples or if you just have a specific question or need a little more help with completing the square to write the equation of a circle in standard form and then use that equation to graph.